So, um, good morning. Um, I'm Suki Champion, and um, you know I'm glad to see you here today. You have to forgive my voice. I'm losing it. <laughs> um, but uh, I am here today, and I will stand on top of this little ledge just so that you can see me. <laughs> um, and so that I can walk you through my discussion for the day. Um, now, uh, my topic is all about winning in the human age. Um, and now, when we think about the human age, you know, what is it, right? Um, when you see after people powered through these medieval times, there was the Renaissance, and then after that, there was the Industrial Revolution. The talk today is about what organizations do to win in the human age. So 3M, right? 3M is a 116-year-old company, um, and we're headquartered in the United States, a $30 billion organization, which is present in over 200 countries. And our 50,000 products go out to healthcare, safety and graphics, industrial, electronics, energy, and in the consumer industries. 3M has been in the Philippines for over 50 years in sales and marketing, and we also have a small converting plant in Carmona, Cavite. The Philippines is part of the sea region for 3M, which is part of Asia and then international. And two years ago, 3M demonstrated its belief in the Philippines by opening a global service center in the country. So now, the big question, right? Uh, the big question, in one of our monthly um, Asia operating committee calls, uh, we were asked to actually discuss Mercer's recent global talent trends report and advocate for a select statement. The statement that my team was given was this, employees must grow, change, and thrive. This is true. So 15 years ago, our Korean HR uh, colleague, HS, he moved from sales to HR, and he had to make a decision to learn a new skill using MS Office applications. Particularly, he had to learn Excel. What HS experienced 15 years ago is a classic story that LC from India states nicely. What worked for us earlier will no longer ensure success in the future. What got us here won't get us there. We need to develop new skill sets, be open to and adapt to change. In today's day and age, that means that work today needs to match people's increased use of technology, digitization, and automation. Work, workers, workplaces, they're all changing dramatically from the business requirements that we see, how we communicate, where we work, the demographics of the people that we work with, it's all evolving. Deloitte says that 57% of the jobs currently existing today won't exist tomorrow because of automation. So I guess the question is, if intelligent machines can do the tasks that previously were performed by people, what uniquely human skills will then be valued? A 2017 article from the World Economic Forum says that automation will not cause a loss of jobs in the future, but rather a shortage of skills to fill the jobs of the future. Tui from Vietnam believes that humans unlock technology and create innovation. Therefore, it's more important now than ever for employees to be honest with themselves, find skills gaps, and improve them. Be daring to learn new things all the time, ready for the future of work, and to develop their own capabilities. Likewise, Natanai from Thailand is a firm believer that technologies will help employees work faster and smarter, give them data needed to accomplish work in more convenient ways. Those who remain at status quo will very soon become obsolete and out of date because of changes everywhere outside of their comfort zone. Everybody that I'm quoting today are all the HR leaders from 3M in Asia countries. Right? What does this mean for HR? What this means for us in HR is that we must translate data into work strategies that engage, inspire, and drive performance for our current and future workforce. 
Uh, please click. Okay. Um, and we need to analyze and pull all, all the data that we have into good use. Why do employees stay or go? What skills or competencies are needed in order for them to perform the work? What kind of health issues do they have? Or what kind of personal family concerns do they have? To drive a point, Gianna from China believes that when employees are transparent about their skills and experience, since HR knows who our leaders are and what they need, this gives us meaningful information for analysis, which guides our work. As well in 3M, HR is in a valued and unique position of knowing where the company wants to go. Thus, we're able to structure the organizations, build capability, and provide learning or resources that are valuable to both the company and the employee. In this day and age, it's also important to share key information with employees, to keep the communication lines going, help them better understand the careers that are available, appreciate our company's value proposition, 3M's vision, and their total rewards. And lastly, HR must also use all the information that we have to partner with the business, encourage change, and do our best to set up both 3M and our people for success. So, what are we doing in this human age? What is 3M doing? Now, the GSC Philippines is one of three sites, all who began in the past three years in different parts of the world, one in Costa Rica, one in Poland, and one in the Philippines. One in the Philippines. In just three years, we have now a total of under 2,000 employees worldwide. In the Philippines, we're at 500 employees at year end. We're 50-50 currently, male and female, gender-based. And 80% of our employees are millennials. We have eight spoken languages. We support English, Korean, Japanese, Thai, Bahasa, Indonesia, Vietnamese, Filipino, right? And uh, because we are three GSCs, we also don't have mid-shift to graveyard uh, shifts. We have one day shift in the company. We follow the sun. And what you see on the screen right now is 3M's corporate playbook, which drives us in everything that we do. To the left, our one vision, our six strategies, our code of conduct, and our leadership behaviors. On the right of the screen, you'll see the three key levers of the company, what we consider to be big value creators. The GSC's playbook itself supports 3M's global playbook. And within that, there's an HR playbook, which revolves around three things, build, develop, engage. 3M wants people to grow and change. The programs that we've embarked on and the culture that we are building revolves around people being comfortable with things like automation, living and breathing um, things like com um, continuous improvement. We know that what got us here won't get us there. And our belief is that our employees can get us there. And this is how we encourage that. The development framework that we have has three categories. One is for leadership and professional development. The second is to enhance technical skills. And the last focuses on personal development. Developing in these areas will all help employees for the future. But let me focus today on the middle category what we call Work Smart. Work Smart classes are embedded in our annual calendar and are meant to upskill employees in functional ways, such as finance and accounting. Right? And also, it's there to help them get more comfortable using and maximizing technology in their everyday work life. Want to learn macros? Enroll in a class. How do you tell the story with numbers on your screen? Take up data visualization classes. It's courses like those available on WorkSmart that has enabled employees to make their own life easier. Watch the right hand side of the screen and you will see how an employee, an individual employee improved her transaction processing time from 65 minutes to five minutes. 
WorkSmart empowers analysts to develop automation for themselves where it makes sense and allows the sites, the three sites, to accelerate the site projects while letting the global team focus on big ticket items. 3M also practices Lean Six Sigma, an agile methodology to continuously improve. These provide 3Mers around the world with a common language that they can speak in solving the problems that matter. So at the GSC, which started up two years back, it was and is very important for us to encourage an LSS culture, a culture that, to create a, a culture of problem solvers. We support continuous improvement through LMS 2.0, daily meetings that each team has to discuss how to win the day. Employees all go through green belt training and IT uses agile methodology. We're also exploring how to use it in non-IT functions this year. We have dedicated resources, MVP coaches, scrum masters, black belts, and we're well on our way to achieving our target LSS projects for the year. We have nearly 300 green belt projects and black belt projects this year, almost half of which are already closed. And what you see here is a screenshot of how LSS, LMS is run, starting at 9 a.m., ending at 10.30 for each and every team at the GSC. <coughs> Excuse me. We are creating a culture of continuous improvement with a daily rhythm of discussion, which is meant to enhance communication and collaboration, which in turn drives faster resolution of issues and concerns. But that's not all. Our recognition program called 3M Power um, also drives these behaviors by rewarding those who delight stakeholders on a regular basis and also rewarding those who complete Greenbelt projects, awarding points that may be used to select items in their online marketplace. We go through storm for this. At the end of the day, winning in the human age is for us about two things. Empowering our people through technology and recognizing the integral part that they play in solving the problems that we have day to day 